Are you having a laugh? I probably need my head testing. But no. Laurie says we should call it quits. Says we can't leave you out. Leave him out of what? What do you think? Reckon he'd make a good usher? Trust me, I'm more than happy being left out. Uh, well, I think that's a no. But well, I overreacted OK. I'm not proud of it. You're about trying to stitch me up for burglary. Yeah, well, I taught you a lesson, right? But he doesn't want to do it, Pete. Well, I don't see why not, since it's behind us. Is it? If you can let it lie, it is. All right, then. If you want. Trying on suits in town today. Then I'll give you the details. Catch you after. Let me pick the kids up later. I know Andy's got them for the day. It's fine. See you later. See you later. The longer we pretend this wedding is going to happen, the harder it's going to be. Well, I'll decide when I'm ready. You'll decide soon. Come in, why don't you? Carly's gone. And? And I need to know if you saw her yesterday. I haven't seen her since we split. Did she say anything about leaving, about where she might go? We weren't big on talk. And yet, somehow, you managed to convince her to rob Jimmy's van with you. I put everything on the line so she could stay. I didn't get into all this bother for you to scare her off. Whoa. She wasn't scared. She begged me to do that job. Says the carjacker! It was her idea to rob someone. I kept turning her down, but she wouldn't listen. No. Stop pretending you don't know what she's like. She gets other people to do the dirty work for her. There's no skin off my nose. But you... She's done a real number on you. She's a good person. She's a good con woman. And if you go to the police, she's going down with me. Comprende? Thanks for taking him. And a crazy day at work. Oh, crazy amount of wedding stuff to catch up on. Well, give me a job if you want. Oh, I can't. It's all stuff like, you know, what song I want to walk down the aisle to, what flowers I want, dress. You haven't got a dress? I have got one, but, you know, I'm just not sure that it's the right one. Well, fetch it then. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't. I've got all this to do, haven't I? Oh, come on. It's, you do know it's two weeks and counting if you haven't... Charles, I don't want to think about the dress right now. OK, sorry. No. Don't need to load the pressure on. I'm sorry. It's not you. <sighs> well, what is it, then? You're not getting chilly tools, I hope. No, just trying to decide what to do for the best all the time. It's only a wedding. You'll do it your way and, well, we'll have a ball no matter what. Yeah, well... Not if I mess things up, we won't. It's one day. The important bit is the marriage that comes after. Doesn't matter what you wear or what music is playing. All that matters is that you are standing next to the bloke that you are madly in love with. All right. See you, Mould. How about you? Mm, not bad. Is uh, Finn about meant to be meeting him here about that soup nonsense? Yeah, you have me to blame for that. Uh, I know. Ross. Yeah? What? I said you wanted me. A uh, visiting order from the absent mother. She must be joking. Can we help you? I am an usher. Mm. You said yes. Obviously. Right, let's go. Andy's mute is there. Can I not give you my measurements or something? It's safer if you try it on. It's safer for you if I don't. Oh, um, would you look who came? All right, let's just get this over with, please. Oh, wow, you guys are the best. Can't wait for this dag. What did you really want me for? I told you. It can wait. Probably nothing. Now, go and find something that I want to rip straight off you. Oh, you might find some coffee. Oh, full on wedding planning, sorry. How are you getting on? Uh, slowly. I've got baby brain from all the sleepless nights. I keep forgetting what we've actually decided on. Have you also forgotten who you're engaged to? Sorry? It just seems to me that you might be a bit confused. <sighs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about you at the garage last night with your tongue down Rossi's throat. 